Magandang gabi. Wait lang. Mag, uh, share lang po ako. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. <coughs> Medyo nubo pa tayo. Saglit lang. Okay. Let me just check. All right. Pasensya na. Medyo, this is really late. Bihira po ako mag-live ng ganitong oras, but um, I'm out of town. So, uh, we had to do whatever. <laughs> Tapos muna ako ng sabaho before I started live. Magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Uy, puro mga naka sa Facebook, ha? Teka, wala ba tayong ano, YouTube? Meron naman yata tayong YouTube. Ayan. All right. Magandang gabi. Ang weird na question that has been coming up lately is who audits COA, which I think really is, um, how do you call this, rather a useless state, useless question. Because um, COA doesn't really hold any money. They don't, they rarely, if ever, have any projects. Right? Because it's the other agencies who do that. COA audits. Eh, magkakabidding lang sila kapag they need new buildings and all of that and they have um, the, the usual supplies. Maraming salamat kay Ma'am Dion Albano. So, yeah, and I have a cold, so pasensya na. So, why do you want to know who audits COA? But before we go into that, I promise I'll answer that question. But before we go into that, magandang gabi sa lahat at huwag kakalimutan po mag-follow sa Luminous by Trixie Cruz Angeles and Amit Paglinawan on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel also on Luminous. So magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Okay. Um, all right. Well, the COA is a constitutional body. Okay, and ito yung provisions in the 1987 Constitution. And it says basically what the mandate of COA is. And what is that mandate? Well, uh, it has the power, authority, and duty to examine, audit, and settle all accounts pertaining to the revenue and receipt and expenditure or uses of funds and property owned or held in trust or pertaining to the government. Or any of its subdivisions, agencies, or instrumentalities, including government-owned or controlled co corporations with original charters, and on a post-audit basis. So included dito constitutional bodies, commissions, offices that have been granted fiscal autonomy under the Constitution, autonomous state colleges, universities, GOCCs, subsidiaries, non-government entities, etc. In other words, everything about government and his brother. Diba? Uh, including yung mga uh, parang quasi government such as GOCCs and all that, provided that this is all pertains to government funds or public funds. In some instances, even if the pub, the funds are no longer public funds, they can be auditing it, such as but not limited to, let's say, the uh, no, a National Endowment Fund of the National Commission for Culture and the Arts is supposedly no longer public funds. However, because they're used for public purpose, COA audits it. That's ano, that's debatable pa ha. Pero sila po ang nag ano, <coughs> ang nag audit. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> So it's a constitutional body. So what does that mean? It means that hindi talaga siya napapakialaman. There's no control. The executive has no control. So the president cannot substitute his discretion for the discretion of COA. So that means na kunare COA decides a certain way, hindi pwedeng sabihin ng presidente, palitan nyo yan. Particularly when it comes to decisions on audit. Okay? So remember that. Uh, on other agencies, the president has what we call control and supervision. So the president has control and supervision over regular departments. For instance, over the, hmm, the Department of Health, the president can override the, the decision of the secretary. Because actually, the secretary is heading it uh, under the principle of qualified political agency. He's there because the, he represents the president. But in COA and other constitutional bodies, they don't represent the president. The president has no control over their decisions. And by control, we mean the president cannot substitute his decision for the decision of COA or any other independent government agency. I, I hope you understood that one. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. And then, let's also define, no? Uh, right now. Kung galit na kayo sa COA, I'm afraid na mababasag ko yung trip ninyo ngayon. Kasi right now, hindi na pa ako nakikita na evidence of bad faith talaga dito sa COA in publishing their results, ha, their, their uh, annual audit report. Okay? So yung mga nagsasabing, bakit masipag ngayon ang COA, bakit ganito ang COA, etc. Um, you're making a conclusion based lang dito sa nakikita ninyo. But I've worked in government from... <laughs> Kakaya. From 1999 until about 2015, and <coughs> I'm going to tell you that COA does this to everybody. Okay? They publish even the observations, and observations are not final. Even if sometimes they will find their way into the annual audit report, if it, is, if it states that this is an observation and not a notice of disallowance or notice of charge, then this is not final. And even the president knows that this is not final. Everybody in government knows that this is not final. In fact, even the media knows that it is not final. COA has been doing this forever or for the longest time. So yung mga nagsasabi niya, bakit ngayon lang yan? Bakit ngayon yung ginawa? And so on. No, that's not, that's, that's not fair. They've always done it and they're not doing it simply to target the OH. Ito, naka-all caps pa. Ba't di nila ino-audit ang mga LGUs? Mas talamak din sa baba ang mga kalokohan na yan. May audit din po lahat ng LGUs, madam. Meron po. In fact, uh, nawawala nga daw sa Binisas yung dun sa City of Manila for 2020. Pero meron din po ang LGUs. As a matter of fact, I just showed you on the screen kanina. Let me add it again. Nakalagay dyan sa section 2, paragraph one, oh, one, kung ano ang ino-audit. So lahat ng government agencies po ay ino-audit ng COA. Okay? So ang, ang request ko lang, suspend nyo muna yung galit ninyo para pag-usapan natin na maayos ito. Yung inaano ninyo, inuuna ninyo yung galit ninyo, so you're not really going to learn anything. Okay. Uh, ang tanong is who audits COA? Well, COA audits COA because the law requires them to be the final audit and they're the only ones who are allowed to audit government agencies. Now, sometimes in case of doubt, in investigations, a judge can order an external audit on matters within COA because COA audits itself. Now, they set aside a team to audit or to, yeah, to audit their own members and supposedly they're very, very strict. In fact, sinasabi ng COA dati, um, COA is the final auditor and as a result of that, COA will have to audit itself. COA audits its own findings, even findings that have been overturned by previous COA chiefs and all that. Okay, So the question really isn't who audits COA, but who reviews the decisions of the COA. Diba? Yun yung sinasabi ninyo. Uh, kasi... Who audits COA? Bakit? Anong project ba ng COA? Aside from getting the regular office supplies and so on. And if they get a new building, it's usually by law. So, uh, may bids and awards committee ba sila? Of course they do. Pero, uh, hindi masyadong issue yan. Eh. Because like I said, unlike other government agencies, let's say the DOH, palaki ang ginagastos nitong mga to. Malaki yung ano. They can even have specific projects for specific years. So, but I think what you're asking is who reviews the decisions of COA when they make an audit of a government agency. Ito. Sabi ni John Paul Padonia, COA should also publish good practices of agencies, not only lapses. I'm sorry, that's not their job. They should also post reports of COA's internal audit as they claim transparency. Well, yes, they do. They're supposed to. Yung, yung audit nila of themselves, yes, of course, they're supposed to. But if you're asking for internal audit, then that's the government, particular government agency's uh, obligation to do that. Okay. Dami naman ito. 
excuse me, sabi ni Argo, hindi mo kinorek yung opinion ni Kong Jonathan at Attorney Gadon sa isang episode ng Karambola regarding sa COA report na final na daw yun, na sad ako. Excuse me, I've always said pag COA observation, it is not final and subject I don't know, you tell me what ano, what episode that is. And are you saying that I have a responsibility to police the opinions of my co-hosts? Do they have their own opinions? And the opinion nila yon. But I have always consistently said so. And even Kong Jonat was the one who was saying that hindi final kapag COA observation. In fact, he was the one who pointed out about COA conferences. So I don't know what you are talking about. Sorry ko yan. Ay, nako. Bakit kayo ganyan? I swear. Hindi ko kinorek. So, if I miss out on in one episode, even if in 10 episodes I say that, if I miss it in one episode because I was busy doing my other administrative functions on the show, it's my fault. And if, even if I say so in another episode, par- kasalanan ko pa rin yon. So maybe I should just quit. Ganun ba? Okay. Yoko na. No, seriously, I... Because if I don't mention something here, then, you know, there's no point pala in having an audience. Ganun ba yun? We should end this live. Siguro next time, don't don't send anything, di ba? I think you might be expecting too much of me already. Yeah, I do my best to to provide the information. And then on the one time that I don't correct my co-hosts, which I'm not obliged to do, by the way, then, ano, then okay na. Then, ano, di ba? So, let's just retire. Di ba? Okay. The Commission on Audit has rules of procedure. So itong rules of procedure na to are published and they revised it in 2009. So let me just... Oops. Okay. All right. So I'll just show it here on the screen kung nasaan yung... Ano, yung Revised Rules of Procedure. Dito sa Revised Rules of Procedure, makikita ninyo yung jurisdiction ng auditor. Okay, dito is yes, dito. Proceedings before the auditor. So makikita ninyo dito, audit disallowances, charges, and suspensions. Whenever there are differences arising from settlements of accounts, dito sa Section 4, says, by reason of disallowances or charges, the auditor shall issue notice of disallowance or charge, which shall be considered as audit decisions. Uh, audit decisions means more or less final yon as far as the auditor is concerned. And these decisions must be established by evidence, conclusions, recommendations, dispositions, etc. Uh, by uh, supported by applicable laws, regulations, etc. So, in other words, it has to be supported by law, jurisprudence, rules, and other, and then evidence. So, the auditor will issue a notice of suspension also for transactions of doubtful validity, propriety, etc. Ang notice of suspension po, they're issued kapag to stop payments that are already ongoing. Okay. Uh, ano yung, what do you mean by anong particular agency po pala? What do you mean by particular agency? Guys, if you're going to ask me questions, then please complete the question. You have, ano, you have to tell me what the antecedent is, what you're talking about, because I cannot answer your question. Ito, sabi ni Karen, everyone is entitled to their own opinion pero wala namang nagtalaga kay attorney na it's her job to police opinion ng kasamahan niya sa karambola. Name ng show ha, root word, karambola. Thank you. 
Okay, the guys who are asking who audits COA, I'll tell you later on, but I already did. <laughs> Sorry, I, I already did. Who audits COA? COA audits COA. COA is the final audit as required by law. Okay? Um, so look, if so now if you look, as we were saying, dito sa pinaka, na, the, what I posted are the rules, the revised rules, the 2009 revised rules on uh, procedures in COA. So ito yung procedure before the auditor. So each agency has an auditor and an auditor can will make the decisions di ba, on, on whether or not allowed, disallowed, etc. Yung mga ganun, yung mga disbursements, yung mga purchases, and so on. But if you'll notice, walang nakalagay dito na observation. That's because if the auditor or COA itself issues an observation, then that is not final. The auditor or COA will send you a notice of these observations and then ask for justification, supporting documents, or um, explanation. So simple lang yan. When it's an observation, oh, bakit ito ganito? It's like COA saying, um, ano nangyari dito? Bakit ito ganito? Kasi if without an explanation, then you'll get a notice of disallowance. Okay. Um, ngayon, ang nakikita natin is that there are two opinions na lumalabas. There's some saying na bakit pinublish, hindi pa yan final, and so on. Precisely, they publish it under the subtitle Observation. COA makes an annual audit report. In the annual audit report are decisions such as notices of disallowance, notice of suspension, or notice of charge. For those asking what a notice of charge is, a char <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, a charge is kapag under-assessed yung isang purchase or yung isang transaction, then they will add to it. Masyadong mababa yan. So notice of charge, kailangan i-charge. Okay? Oh, eto si Leo, di na naman na nakinig. Did COA violate its own rule when it published an incomplete annual audit report? It's not incomplete. Okay? That is a complete audit report. An audit report can contain observations because these observations are also sent to the agency. Now, why do they publish observations? This is in line with the government policy of transparency. So, ibig sabihin, even when a transaction is questioned, and it is not yet final as part of the transparency requirement of government, pinapublish nila yan and included, they include it in the annual audit report if it has not yet been resolved. Okay? Transparency. You need to know what is going on with the agency. I Thank you, okay, Ma'am Arlie Mars. Uh, oh. Okay. So, let me see. Sabi ni Argo, please go on. Mas important yung ginagawa mo sa bansa natin compared sa previous comment ko. Thank you and sorry. Oh, ma'am, I don't mean to embarrass you. It's just, it's frustrating lang to be called to account for for the one time that you make a mistake. Tapos gaganyan yung... Yeah. Okay, ma'am, thank you. Thank you also. And I accept your apology. And I also apologize in on on you know on my own behalf. <laughs> sorry. Sabi ni Ma'am Ruthie Sidor, uh, thank you for staying up late and giving us good info. God bless you and stay safe. Okay, um, <clears throat> actually I sent kasi a, a video because I have a talk at 9.30 tomorrow morning. Now, alright, ang kulit kasi ng mga questions about who audits COA, so uulitin natin, COA audits COA. But I think what you're really asking is who holds COA accountable? Now, COA, like any other government agency, is subject to the same processes of review. So if you look at the revised rules on <coughs> the revised rules on proceedings in COA, you're going to see that there's such a thing as, ano, as appeals, so there's an uh, adjudication and settlement board, which is composed of the assistant commissioner of legal services and so on. Um, and they render decisions also. So they, they 
have original jurisdiction over cases like write-offs of liquid unliquidated cash advances, requests for relief from accountability for losses due to acts of man. So, dito sa ano, adjudication and settlement board, may mga nira-write off tayo, oh, hindi na liquidate ito. Um, matagal na ito, so can we just write it off? COA will make this, the, this part, part of COA, the adjudication and settlement board, will make a decision on that. Uh, requests for relief from accountability for losses due to acts of man. So, kunwari, meron kayong ginagastos, ha? may construction or something, tapos binagyo, nabasag, nasira yung buong construction na yun. And so, sometimes you're going to have to write it off as a loss and start over and rebuild the project. So, it goes up to the adjudication and settlement board. The decision is first made by the uh, auditor and then it goes up there. Uh, it's in the form of an appeal. Okay? So, although my original jurisdiction in cases involving write-offs not exceeding 1 million, uh, for those that exceed 1 million, appellate siya. Uh, an appeal must be filed within the remaining six-month period after receipt of the decision appealed from. So there's also a petition for review to the commission proper who can determine whether or not there's grave abuse of discretion on the part of the auditor who made the findings. Okay? Uh, shall consider. Now, take note that these appeals or reviews and cases that can be filed directly with the commission itself are, uh, how do you call this, are pertain to the audit itself. But what about the behavior? Kasi nagtatanong kayo, di ba, bakit pinablish? Ngayon, assuming na mali yung publication, I'm not saying it's wrong. Actually, I think it is right because it's been done since forever. Ngayon lang po yan natanong. Pero what if it is wrong? Who makes a determination on that? Well, you can sue uh, whoever is responsible for it. Let's say it's the COA board. You can sue them for a grave abuse of discretion in publishing that. You can uh, file case, administrative cases uh, for, let's say, misconduct. If meron silang pinahiya, you can file libel cases and so on. Okay. All right. So, yeah, actually, I'm drinking my, ano, my uh, turmeric tea. <clears throat> Bakit po nagagalit si President Bigong sa pag-flag ng COA sa DOH? I think in part, it might be incomplete information that he has gotten. Kasi nga, um, ever since, COA has always been publishing this as part of its uh, how do you call this, as part of its um, annual audit report. Yung mga unresolved na observations are also put in their annual audit report. Well, they can always change yung palakad nila, pero you know, ngayon lang po siya na call. But if it has always been done, then there is no singling out. In other words, they're not singling out the DOH. And they did not publish their observations just now. They've always done so. Now, I want you to take note. Teka, remove natin to. Uh, I want you to see the press release of the Office of the Ombudsman. Here. Uh, in particular, this last part. Ombudsman Martires also clarified that the annual audit report is composed of several audit observation memoranda and the agency is given time to comply with common recommendations of the auditors. The AAR is final and can no longer be changed, but the audit process is still ongoing and not yet complete. If we were to compare it to a case before the regular courts, the findings of the auditor can be likened to a decision by the regional trial court, which is appealable to the Court of Appeals or the Supreme Court. In this case, the audit observations can still be brought to the commission proper for a final decision. So, do you see? Ayan. Sabi ni King Tabernilla, it is annual audit report as mandated by law. The report contains audit opinion, result, and audit recommendations, suggested actions to correct deficiencies. Thank you, Sir King. Okay. So, 
That's why I'm asking, bakit kayo nagagalit sa COA? Some of you think that the COA has been doing something irregular, no? They have always published their observations in an annual audit report, okay? Um, and as Mr. King Tab Tabernilia says, it has opinions, which is the result, or yung mga final na, and audit recommendations which suggest actions to correct deficiencies, which means they can submit additional evidence, they can submit additional receipts. If there are missing memoranda, such as memoranda of agreements with other government agencies to whom they have transferred money to, then they can provide that. Okay? Ako, personally, ha? personally, I think it is so wrong on so many levels that you transfer money without a memorandum of agreement. Now, it is possible that the transferred money transferred money and they didn't and they had a memorandum of agreement but they did not include it in their report to COA. So COA will just say, teka baka kulang ito kulang ito, hindi nyo nasama dito iproduce nyo na lang. Diba? Or it was just ano, uh, kumbaga late yung final copy ng, ng ano, memorandum or it was subject to amendments, then they can submit the final amended version of the memorandum of agreement. Sabi ni Ma'am Adele, maraming Pilipinang walang idea kung anong procedure or process ng isang audit system. Kaya siguro dinala ng anti-admin sa media mga observations, correct? To provoke and create distrust sa administration. I agree. It's possible. Quite possible. It's a good blessing na you're with us to further explain the issues. Thanks po. Hirap po kasi sa Pilipinas, ang dami nagiging dalubhasa, depende sa issue. Oh. On the other hand, sinasabi naman ng kabilang parlor, Oy, you're so heroic. Ang galing-galing ng COA. You published all of this. Excuse me, hindi din po sila heroic kasi normal yan. Bahagi yan ang trabaho nila. So ginagawa nila, they were not out to single out the DOH. They're not calling out the DOH simply because galit sila kay Duque like so many of us are. <clears throat> And, you know, so we do that. That's what... We do. Ano itong sinasabi na ano? And yet your username is in English. Uh, hi, JR. Ano yung antecedent nung comment po ninyo? Ito, sabi ni Charity Lorraine Branya. Si DOH, medical equipment po, mga binibili. And supplies, madam. Like PPE, mga high-flow oxygen med medical ventilators, we have to make emergency procurement. Kung pwede nga lang po tanggalin na lang yung mga processes, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, especially for emergencies, di ba? Uh, na matagal sa procurement. Yung normal work ng COA, okay yan. But nasa pandemic tayo, mahirap na nga po magpasunod ng tao, madaming anti-vaxxer. Oh, I, yes, I agree. May ayaw maniwala sa COVID, so maapektuhan lalo yung COVID response dahil lalo hindi maniwala mga tao sa COVID. I understand Why, PR, why PRID, why he got mad. Eh, ganito po yun. At least yung bayanihan lo, kinilala nila yung trabaho ng DOH. Kaya meron mga additional benefits for health workers and so on. Tapos in-extend pa. Normally, ang pondo, pag hindi nagastos, revert to treasury. Ang ginawa ng bayanihan to, in-extend yung period. So they already bent over backwards for the, ano, it might not be enough. Pero dun sa bayanihan do, hindi in-include na OCOA kung pwede, final audit report na lang. wag na yan. ba? Diba? Uh, but they didn't. And COA cannot change its means and its methods because these are prescribed by law and rule. So in order for them to deviate from the law without getting into trouble, Congress has to amend that law. Okay, sabi ni Bila, Bill na, if there is indeed the oversight mechanism, the disallowances and discrepancies should have been noticed and prevented from the very beginning. Uh, but COA doesn't do pre-audit. All financial documents pass through call for perusal. No, 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 no. Sorry, there's no pre-audit. It's only post-audit. It's only after the transaction. All finan uh, if all the papers are in order, COA resident order, 
auditor writes his initials and the papers continue to process payments are made, etc. Koa can question in real time as it is happening. No, of course not. It doesn't do that. It cannot do that. They're not required to do that and they don't do that. It's all post-audit. Not while the transaction is happening. No. Possibly the internal the internal auditor of the agency, yes, but not the COA auditor. Uh, sabi ni Ma'am Arlene, pero ngayon lang parang sensational ginagamit ng kabilang parlor at mga, mga tatakbong pangulo at yung ang kinagagalit ng mga pro-admin na damay na lang siguro ang COA. That's why. Why are we making more enemies? di ba? Why do you want to make more enemies? Aawayin natin so many other people who become defensive and therefore in the process, we're approaching an election with more enemies than when we came in. Why were we doing that? Should COA have asked government agencies to correct their shortfalls before publicizing it to media? No, they're, they're not required to do that. They've been doing the, COA, the route of COA observations ever since. Like Mr. King said earlier, the, COA, uh, the annual report has two things, the decisions which are final and the observations which are not. And it's part of the transparency of government so that everybody knows, okay, these transactions are going on. This is what uh, the agency forgot to do. Let's wait. Because if they cannot sustain it, it ganito yun. May hinuli ang pulis. Diba? Ito. And everybody seems to be doing this a lot. Ha? May hinuli ang pulis. Nakikita natin, pinost sa media, naka-handcuffs, dinadala na dun sa, ano, sa kulungan. What do you think? Diba iniisip ninyo guilty na? Pero actually, it's the court that pronounces the guilt. And yet, all of us are saying, all of you are saying, you know, eh, guilty naman talaga yan. Kita mo, nahuli na ng police and so on. So that's what's going on here. It's not the process. It's the process is clear. We all know this is how it goes. You arrest the person, you bring him to court, and then he is tried to determine guilt or innocence. But so many people make the decision in their heads that once a person has been accused, he's already guilty. That's what's happening also here. Naiinis kayo because you're thinking, Teka muna, hindi pa guilty yung tao, pinablish nyo na. But we do that all the time, di ba? There was a time when even the cops would parade these accused before the TV, before the media. Did anybody complain? No, only the accused complained. <coughs> Tama ba si Duque na premature ang pag-release ng observation? No, it's not. And he is incorrect. Ma maano lang siya. Well, uh, he can't be expected to know these things. But like I said, ever since, I've worked in government since 1998 until 2015, more or less, with a few gaps in between. But... And I've gone to COA conferences on this one, and they do publish these things. So if you're going to, uh, no, going to get angry, then you have to do it for everybody else also. But it's part of the transparency policy of the government. Sabi ni Atili, so mali ang iniisip ko na pwedeng mamamanipulate ng certain people tulad ng mga anti-admin ng COA, especially when publishing the report. No, they're not manipulating COA. They're manipulating our perception of what happens in that report. They're saying, hala, guilty na itong mga to. Like us, seeing a man in handcuffs, we make the conclusion that he's guilty, not knowing that once it's subject to trial and evidence is presented, that man could very well not be guilty. But because you saw him in handcuffs, ang conclusion mo ay guilty na yan. Dito, these people saw, oh, may observation na ganito, guilty na yan. Or, ano, yun, oh, itong mga, ano, DOH na to, koraptong mga to. Walang nagsasabing ganun. May observation, they haven't filed the complete set of documents, then there's still an ongoing, it's, it's still an ongoing process. Ah. Pesto says, is COA quasi-judicial or they only recommend their filings to the prop, findings to proper agencies or authorities for filing of cases? Ah. It's quasi-judicial on audit. Pero if there is a finding, possible finding of violations of RA 3019, which is the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act, or... Um, violation of the law on plunder, malversation, technical malversation, and so on, they will also make the proper recommendations. Usually, it's a recommendation to the ombudsman for either further investigation for filing cases. 
Jack Skisias, pero may mali. At nakikita yan lalo na papalapit na yung halalan. Ano nga po yung sinasabi ninyong mali? Kasi masasabi lang natin mali kung nag-deviate sila from procedure. Hindi po sila nag-deviate from procedure. Let's blame who really is to blame here. It's the media. They took an observation report and made it look like the DOH is already guilty. Bakit sa kuwa kayo nagagalit? Ano yung mali? Yung mali might be with the media for over-sensationalizing. What is a uh, decision that is not yet final? Etong kabilang parlor, pag may magandang gawa si Digong, sasabihin part of the job yan. So thanks taxpayers daw. Pero pag uh, kuwa o kakampi nila, sasabihin heroes sila. Ay di ba part of the job rin naman si Yan. Yes, exactly. So they're neither heroes nor they are they villains. It's other people who are over-sensationalizing this when there's still a trial. Parang ano yan eh? Parang may natunood tayo ng trial. Ganon. Maraming nagsasabi, hindi, guilty na yan. Nasabi na mo ba naman, hindi, heroic nga yan eh. Hindi yan guilty. Hindi, guilty yan eh. Awayan tayong lahat. Pero who gets the final say? The judge. Ba? And it's not true. RPM says, is it true that COA included Davao LGU for their observation or flagging? If so, the timing is unusual leading to elections. I just watched Pastor Kibuloy mentioning this. Okay, ito yung tanong ko sa inyo. If they included that, is that illegal? Is their action illegal? Because what are you, you know, if you're saying it's suspicious, then you have to find a basis for suspicion. But if they have always been flagging, regardless of whether or not dadating ang election, then it's not a deviation from procedure and therefore we have no basis for saying it is suspicious. It becomes suspicious not because of the timing, because ano gusto ninyo? Hindi sila magpa-publish ng observations dahil padating ng eleksyon. Then that would be a deviation from procedure. And then that would be like, ano, ano ba? Are we favoring these agencies? Di tayo magagawa ng observation. We're going to do it for other administrations but not for this one. E di sino humihingi ngayon ng special privileges? Diba? All I'm asking is it you guys stop inventing. Kasi nagaano na eh na, na ala bakit nilabas nila ng ganon? Bakit ever since naman nilalabas nila ng ganon? On the other hand, kabilang partner, wow, how heroic. Go, Koa. They're just doing their jobs. They've done that for ages already. Diba? Uh Watching from UAE, congratulations sa bagong angel niya. Sobrang cute, di ba? Formulosa says, yan. Formulosa says, better ask questions na lang instead of commenting something we're not knowledgeable. We're all learning here. Um, no naman. I mean, okay lang naman ang comments. Pero yung mga tipong make me responsible for, for things that I cannot control, such as the opinions of my co-hosts, then medyo ano na yan. Ah. Uh, Ito, sabi ni Marvin Petro, so parang ginagawa lang nila trabaho nila, pinalalaki lang ng issue kasi nagmumukha may corruption daw. That's correct, Marvin. Hindi lang magaling na manager si Duque. That, that's yes, and that I agree. Kasi if you're a good manager, nakita mo na 'yan, you don't wait the entire 60 days to finish it, to finish yung compliance niyo or bago pa lumabas yung COA report na ano uh, the DOH announces that we are complying with the following ganito, ganito. We're overwhelmed by work because of the pandemic and therefore we ask the patience of uh, the president and the public uh, but we're going to catch up on this one. Especially <coughs> so hindi binigay na allowances or um, uh, na financial benefits ng mga health workers. Free Kurt, Free Kurt says, is Mendoza member ng One Sambayan. Wala na kasing issues, may bisto sila. Dami ng flag, pero DOH talaga, talaga tinaga. Hirap magtrabaho, lalo na pandemic pa, and they're frontliners. Okay. Conspiracy theory time. Okay. Um, everybody knows that Secretary Duque isn't exactly a favorite even among the followers of the president. Di ba? So tama, kung may titirahin sila, eh titirahin nila is the DOH. But, you know, 
COA cannot stop doing its job. So it has to publish whatever it is they have to publish. Whether pro-admin sila or anti-admin sila, that publication has to be put up. They have to put up their annual audit report. And if they don't include observations in the final audit, in the annual report, but they had already sent observations to the DOH, then mapibase to din sila. Why are you favoring the DOH? Bakit pinababa mo ninyo yung DOH? Diba? <clears throat> Uh, on the other hand, we also should not take what the media says, hook, line, and sinker. We have to analyze what are they saying. So, matagal na nating sinasabi na these, obs even the president knows, oh, these observations are not final. Oh, so, why are you scared? Why is anybody scared? Why, why are you letting the media mess with your minds? A shout out na lang po watching in Riyadh. <coughs> Hi! Di ako shout me. Ano? I have a sore throat. Uh, may pagdinig, pagdinig bang magaganap pa sa tanong ni Senator Aimee sa DOH? If you don't tell me what the tanong is, I can't answer your question. Kamusta mga taga Visayas? Blackout those dun sa Visayas. But be safe. But as KLC said, the blackout there at 12 midnight is something fishy. I'm worried that it might be practice. Ang problema kasi ang daming epal, may mga senador na nagising sumasakay sa init ng issue, may dadat, may dating tal, taga, may dating taga ko na nagmamalinis and so on. Yeah, well, because it's a controversy now everybody wants to bring their two cents in. But the rational thing is to look at the mandate of ko. Are they supposed to do this? Have they been doing this before? Yes, they've always been doing this before. On the other hand, we also can't discount the possibility. Hello, DOH. Bakit naman wala ganyang kadami, wala kayong mga memoranda of agreements? Uh, and what are you doing? Diba? Why is it? Why are you taking so long? Ito, sabi ni Jeb. Jeb says, lame stream media just played up this matter to stir confusion and cheese me. Sabi niya, hold your horses. Kung ano ang nakalagay ngayon sa website, just observation. Kaya ayaw nga ni Tatay Digsi, publish muna dahil magkakaroon ng maling perception ng public. Kaya nga ang COA, hinihintay nila ang mga agencies to submit those requirements or documents at a given time. Now, pag naibigay na yan ng mga agencies, asa ng corruption doon? Huwag kayong padadala. Yeah, that's exactly what I posted. Kaya SMNI News lang pinapanood news sa, uh, kung news sa YT. Walang kwenta ng lame stream, buong-buong pagbabalita ng SMNI. Yes, but distinguish between news and commentary. Ito, sabi ni Adrian, parang nakikita ko sunod after this audit fiasco with DOH is for Manny Pacquiao to link tonits? Unfounded corruption allegations. Ayun na nga yung problema. Kasi itong mga allegations of corruption, COA has never made any allegations of corruption. They just made observations. Oh, DOH, punoyin niyo to. Ito naman mga kabila, hala, bakit hindi nagpuno ng DOH? Uh, kayo, DOH, hala, ano ninyo? Well, I don't blame people for, for questioning it kasi it's it's the man in handcuffs image niya. You see a man in handcuffs, you think, wait, nuli ng police, guilty na yan. Parang yung mga, ano, iba, I remember this, I had a client na may, ano, may CCTV, may binaril siya, okay, uh, na biker. Okay? So everybody said, ah, guilty na yan. There's no point in having a trial. You still have a trial. You know why? There were incidents before, there were incidents after. There could be mitigating circumstances. You never know. <laughs> Parang yung dati, ano ba yung kaso na yun na inaway ninyo ako about, ano, about uh, not having a, uh, yung ano, yung, yung shooting dun sa Pampanga ng police na pinatay na mag-ina na ano, and I said, Pwede pa yan if he, ano, if he um, pleads guilty, voluntary surrender and all that, then he can have one, one degree lower yung penalty. And everybody was saying, ano, kinakampihan ko daw yung kriminal, bakit ganyan, he should go to jail for life and all that. Because there is a difference, guys, between what you want to happen and what the law says is going to happen. Uh, same thing here. What you want to happen and what the, what the law or the rule says are two different things. So, 
mag-iingat din tayo how we have, diba, before we already had a live about this and I was saying mag-iingat kayo about what the media wants you to believe. Ah, ito pa. Hindi pa rin binigay yung 500 pesos daily allowance. Eh, hindi ba nasa observation report nga yan? Oh, uh, that's another thing also. Uh, COA says, unreleased yung ibang mga ganyan. Allowances ng mga frontliners natin. So, kasalanan pa rin ba ng COA when you see people saying, hindi pa namin natanggap yung allowance. When you see the nurses saying na ano, na... Magre-resign na lang kami kasi yung mag kami dito hanggang ngayon hindi pa rin binibigay. On that issue and on that issue alone, kasalanan pa rin ba ng COA yung katilang observation report because the daily the allowances have not yet been released. Think about it. Is that COA's fault? Bakit kayo sa COA nagagalit? I'm not defending COA. I, I, you know, I really hated that agency when I was with government kasi KJ sila, mga notices of disallowances and all of that. All of that I had to face. And yeah, but COA is a necessary agency. Somebody has to check our government expenditures. Flora Lisa says, ginagamit pong COA yung findings ng lahat ng politiko pro-admin na ng opposition para sa kanika nilang political interest sa palaging kakonchabang mainstream. May plans, plans, transparency nga po, pero paano naman ang mga naging biktima ng sensationalism gawin tong COA findings? Sira na ang reputasyon at corrupt na sa mata ng madla bago pa mapatunayan. Wala namang irregularity. Eh, yan nga yung reklamo ng kahit na sinong naakusa. You know, is there anything you can do about that? Well, you can file for libel if you want. Di ba? Pero ganun din eh. It's the man in handcuffs. What if the, ano, everybody says, hala, guilty yan. Na-acquit siya later on. Anong gagawin niya? Are you going to blame the mob for saying guilty siya because they saw him in handcuffs? Is, what is that? an issue that you can actually solve? Kasi kahit ako, eh, yeah, even on social media, sasabihin niya yan, si Atty. Fixin ng red tag yan. And no matter what I do to say, I don't do red tagging, they're going to say that it's going to be there forever. So, how, are you, how do you propose to solve that problem? It's required for transparency. So, we're going to balance the interests here now. What are the interests here? Transparency, Versus the individual right, which is the which is heavier. Always the collective right comes before the individual right, or should come before. So that's how things are right now. Dahil walang maiba to sa admin, more issues coming past national elections are coming. Eh, yun na nga yung pinoproblema ko dun sa mga reactions. Nagagalit, we're making enemies. We're making more enemies than we actually have to. Padating ang eleksyon. So, being led like this, imbis na ano, imbis na kaya ma, ma, inis na lang tayo yun. To, instead of learning, okay, ito yung proseso, aatakiyan natin ang COA and COA is composed of people and these people will take it against us. Why are we doing this? It's not necessary. COA has a job to do. We let them do their jobs. Diba? If ma-prove ng DOH na, oh, hindi naman dapat ito maging notice of this allowance, eh, they good. But somebody is trying to make us angry and you're buying into it. Ito, si the Jack's wrong. I've seen laptops worth 450 and these are used for mapping and rendering. Those prices are possible. I agree. I was shopping for laptops the other, but two, three weeks ago. There were ones that I wanted for 150. Oh, and you know, they're specialty laptops with very special functions. So, para sa akin, the 700,000 for four laptops, still explainable. Pero instead, what the DOH did was, oh sige, yung 60,000 na laptops na lang. Eh, kung hindi yun ang kailangan, and they bowed to public pressure, we're going to end up buying the, buying the, one, the 700,000 peso laptops again, pero next year, after wasting money on the 60,000 pesos each na laptops for this year. Sometimes it's not a good thing. Mark says the COA report is politically motivated. No, I disagree. Because the DOH admits what is in the report. How can it be politically motivated if it is true? We, 
'di ba? Iyon ang sinasabi ko. Kahit mali ginawa ng COA, dapat kasi di muna nilabas. Hindi, bakit dapat di muna nilabas? Are we going to deviate from the previous practice? What reason do you have for it to deviate from the previous practice? Pandemya, wala naman nilagay sa bayanihan law to. Wala namang pinago dun sa rules nila. Binago nga natin yung rules na non-reversion, no? automatically magre-revert ang pera. What the Congress did was they, ano, they, they allowed it to be carried over to the next year. Like I keep telling you, Mark, the COA report may not be politically motivated at all. It's just a report on observations and the DOH admits that these exist. All they're saying is hindi pa nila natatapos yung period and they're going to submit them. Ayun, sabi ni Tickwell, simulators for medical technology cost 500k and above, the, those are supercomputers. Ah, pero hindi na siya laptops. Ito, sabi ni Bernard Allen, the only thing that is certain is that Duque is incompetent. Yes, we still have to wait for all the evidence to find out if he is also dirty. Yes, this story has been blown out of proportion by the media kasi wala na silang mabato kay PRRD. Again, yes. Okay? You know, on the other hand, because sometimes we think we have to defend the president, we also have to defend these people. We don't have to do that. If Duque is wrong, then he is wrong. And he has to be held to account for that. We don't play favorites simply because he works for the president. And this is my beef with, uh, no, with Secretary Duque. Every time he's in trouble, he runs to the president for the president to defend him. And the president uses up his own political capital for this guy. Tapos pagka lumakas na ang loob niya, ay, nagalit ng presidente. He'll make this whole pathetic speech. No, you nurakan mo kami, kawawa naman kami. He has this entire victim speech which is not helping. In other words, this guy is paying a PR who is not effective at all. If Duque just said, we will comply with the COA observations, we're going to submit on time. But we would like to point out that these observations are not final, no matter what the other parlor says. I'm sorry, there's no corruption here because we can explain everything. Tapos, hindi yung COA naman kami. Because it only ticked people off. I know it ticked me off. Mas bet naman nating wala si Duque sa DOH. <laughs> Sabi ni Clarence, pero wala tayong magawa kung hindi siya alis ni PRID unless mahatulan siya. Need pa din natin ng due process para magkaayusan yon Sabi ni Santi, friendly fire yung di pagsibak ni PRID kay Duque. Eh ganito yun. With, ano, ako, for one thing, I, like I said, we keep saying, and we have to take this to heart, the president is not perfect and I think his one imperfection is this Duque thing. ba and Jegski says, pero nagbigay po sila ng 60 days sa DOH. Nagbigay ka ng 60 days, pero inilabas mo din kagad. Because observations nga are part of the annual audit report. There are two parts of the audit report. The decisions, which are the notices of disallowances and all that. And the observations for which the agency is supposed to comply. It's always been there. Hindi nila nilabas ka agad. Even the president says na ganyan talaga, wag niya nang gagawin yan. Because they've been doing this ever since. Kung lumihis sila, kung first time silang naglabas and only for this purpose, then yes, you can think it's politically motivated. Then yes, you can say, ah, there's something wrong here. But if they have always been doing that and been doing that with other agencies as well, nasaan dyan yung bias? Di ba? Bakit nauna pa media to publish? No, they posted it on their website and that's where the media got it. Where do you think the rest of us get our own? Ano, pagka kami rin, ginagawang part ng komentaryo namin yung audit report, sa namin pupuntahan sa COA website? Huwag niyo namang pilitin. Nagbigay sila ng 60 days, yes, but that observation is still a decision made and they're asking the, co the DOH to comply with the missing requirements. In fact, dapat nga nagtatanong tayo, DOH, hindi pa ba kayo sanay sa ginagawa ninyo? Bakit hanggang ngayon, di pa rin kayo marunong gumawa ng memorandum of agreement dun sa mga ahensya binibigyan ninyo ng pera? How many years have you been doing this? For me, actually, yung mga ganun, nagbigay ka ng pera with another government agency pero wala kang memorandum of agreement. Para sa akin, dapat kulong na yan eh. 
that, that's all the evidence you need. Pero sige, baka nawala, baka inamend, baka ano, late lang talaga sila nag-submit dun sa whatever. Baka nawala lang dun sa file, baka nasunog yung file, baka nasunog yung records nila, whatever. There might be an explanation, but the fact is that is one heck of a red flag. Why is everybody, why everybody still doesn't understand it's already past mid-2021, the call report was for 2020, plus the fact that there are questions in the report that need answering. DOH is still complying. Actually, the COA report was for 2020. They had 60 days, but the fact is they're given more than 60 days. Oh. Kenneth says, saringin ko po, napaka-useless ng pagtadrama o paglalabas ng sama ng loob ni Sek Duque nung <laughs> nakarawang araw. Pinaliwanag niya na lang na po sana na maayos at kalmado ng mga binabato ng kanya katanungan. Magandang madaling araw. Opo. Okay, last two questions. May I ask po, ang ayaw nyo kay Duque dahil ba sa Ivermectin? Ayan na naman. At in intriga na naman yan. Ano ba talaga ang dahilan kung iba ang DOH Sek? May iba ba yung pangyayari? Hindi niya ba minasa yung observation report? Hindi niya ba ako naririnig in the past few years? Among other things, Deng Vak siya. Diba? Yung mga, ano, <laughs> eto, eto, yung mga, he keeps asking the president to defend him. Yan ang ayoko sa kanya. If he wasn't doing anything wrong, kayang-kaya niya sagutin niya mga yan. Tagal-tagal na niya sa gobyerno hanggang ngayon, di pa rin niya kaya. Pero I think it's wrong for you to say na ayaw ko kay Duque. Ayaw ko yung ginagawa niya. Okay? Magsasalita lang talaga ako kung meron akong maano, isasubstantiate dyan. And by the way, if you ask my co-hosts, I'm the only one who doesn't push for ivermectin. So you're wrong. You're barking up the wrong tree there. Pesto says, I think this is just a lesson, not just with DOH but also other agencies to have automated documentation and or database para wala nang excuse na kailangan. H. John says, I don't fully agree that those transactions should be documented as per normal policy. They should be given more time as they're attending to a pandemic which are urgent. Then why didn't the DOH ask for special uh, periods to comply with the, with the COA when they were getting the Bayanihan Law? Huh? Ano yan? Diba? You, you cannot, think of it this way, eh? think of it this way. The warehousing policy, which Corambola brought up a long time ago already, has not been sufficiently answered. Okay? And that was pre-pandemic. Okay, now, no memoranda of agreement and you transferred money to another government agency. What is your justification for that? Why would you give a government agency or anybody else for that matter money and you have no terms of reference? Tell me how you can get out of that. Okay? What do you mean that transactions should be not be documented as per normal policy? These are not you know, emergency operations. These are financial transactions that require documentation in order to begin in the first place. Uh, buti na lang meron na si Attorney Trix na live pagkatapos kay Coach Jarrett lipat agad dito, good AM sa lahat uh, sabi ni Flor, manatili na lang kami yung tabogo kung wala itong si Attorney Trix na napakamatyagang magpaliwanag oh, thank you po, thank you po uh, kung ako kay Duque, ilabas na niya lahat ng baho sa DOH simula noon nakaupo siya <laughs> kung meron total tinitira na siya ng mga kakampi niya dati Actually, hindi siya yung tinitira. Si Duterte ang tinitira. Kasi nagiging Duterte na siya, yun ang sabi ni TP na iba na lang na daw ng line si Duque. <laughs> TP is always so colorful. The problem of publishing an incomplete COA report is that not everyone knows the audit process. Mag-jump to conclusions in public. Audit process uses sampling kaya talagang magkaka-discrepancies. Yeah, so do we tell the cops also not to handcuff the ano, their prisoners because... Uh, it might create the impression that they're guilty. MacBook Pro 16-inch, 2.6 GHS, 6-core processor, da-da-da. 
costs $3,999. So 700K budget of DOH is reasonable. I agree with this. Actually, I agree with this. Yung laptops, for me, that was never going to be an issue because haler, mura pa yan. Sa totoo lang, tingin ko, ah. I'm not a tech, but definitely I know prices because I just bought a new one. Maraming salamat. Ang dami nyo pong natututunan. Okay, so let's wrap up. Who audits COA? COA audits COA because the, the law requires COA is the final audit. In case of discrepancy, uh, for instance, during a hearing, then an external audit can be called for to determine whether this is uh, accurate. But who does the oversight over the auditor's decisions? It's also COA. COA has several uh, processes <coughs> for appeals also from the decision of the auditor. Now, a COA observation is not final and is like, uh, it's like the complaint affidavit. It's like the complaint. Or as uh, Ombudsman Martirez says, it's like the decision of the regional trial court. It can still be appealed to a higher court. Okay, Not final. Why is it published? Because it's part of the transparency policy of the government. And <clears throat> it has always been included in the annual audit report. Always been. It's not unusual for it to happen now that the audit uh, has been noticed by the, uh, no, that these transactions has been noticed by COA and put in its annual audit report. However, COA did not say that it is a notice of disallowance or a notice of charge. COA said this is an observation and therefore it already indicates to the reader who knows how to read uh, a COA audit report that this is not a final decision and that the DOH is being given the opportunity to comply. In fact, it is written in the COA report itself. Okay, for those observations such as the uh, transactions with government agencies not covered by MOAS, the COA says, submit the MOAS. Diba? So, um, or in certain transactions, explain why this is this is so. Okay? So don't get mad at COA because this is normal. They have always been doing this. If you want to change the rules, by all means, the rules can be changed. But you have to go through Congress or you have to justify with the Commission on Audit because this system works. Okay? Um, now, uh, as we have shown earlier on, the so many people are being misled by saying that either COA is a hero or COA is a heel. But it's probably neither one of them because COA is just doing their job and they have always been doing this ever since. And they have been doing it this way. Okay? Maraming salamat sa pagsubaybay sa live namin ngayong araw na ito. Uh, Tomorrow, I think if I can, ano, if I can stream yard at Nick Nangit, then we're going to have him and pagsabay kami, and he'll probably tell you all the same things. Okay. Uh, one last. This is a classic mainstream media weaponizing whatever they can find to make people doubt and, and with an election coming. Koa, fine, it's doing its job, but this issue rattled a lot of people in government. Well, I think people in government should constantly be rattled. But they're on their toes. Come on, they owe it to us to use the money properly. So we really shouldn't also be getting angry at the people who audit those transactions because they're just trying to see to make sure that the money is spent as according to the rules. Now, COA isn't perfect like the president isn't perfect and sometimes they're going to make mistakes. And by all means, we can call them out. But if we're going to call them out, let's call them out fairly then. Hindi yung magagalit tayo, bakit nilabas it? Matagal na silang naglalabas ng observations, ngayon lang tayo nagreklamo. ba? Okay? So, for instance, ako I disagree with their findings on the laptop and naiinis ako that, co that the DOH gave. But hindi ako naiinis that they, they pointed out to the lack of memorandum memoranda of agreement and, in fact, in other instances, with the warehousing that's being asked. Okay? Ito, sabi ni Jade, ay nako, sasa, sa, ito nako, I saw that, may bagong script na naman daw ang DDS. Actually, hindi nga tayo nagsiscript eh. And if anything, what all we're saying here is that COA did its job. Sila nga, para sa kanila, COA is a hero eh. Hindi naman din tayo nagdi-disagree. Pero hindi sila hero eh. Ginagawa lang nila. That's why I said, si <coughs> mag-live na lang kami to explain this. So yung external audit is only to check 
once this ano if a case goes to court tama ba yung pagka-audit ng COA because COA can also be questioned but you can question it only under certain circumstances in those circumstances pwede mag-request ng external audit okay however the law requires the COA is the final audit when it comes to government financial transactions and COA also audits its own auditors okay so, maraming salamat. Thank you, Ma'am Pinay. Nandito pa, pa, pala kayo. Pero ang tahimik din niya. Maraming salamat. We'll see you again tomorrow for or later on for Sutil Saturday. Good night.